Hi, it's Miss Sheila from the Palmyra Community Library. I'm here to read another story this week. Um, I just wanted to do a couple quick reminders before I start. Every Monday through Thursday, we are offering lunches at 12 o'clock for children and teens, so you're welcome to stop by and do that. This week, we are, offer, we are asking um, our patrons to pick your favorite fairy tale and um, share that on our social media page, or you can send that to us in the mail and um, your name will be entered in for a prize drawing, and we're gonna do that in a, for two weeks. This week I have a corresponding book. It's, um, the illustrator is Little Brown Books for Young Readers, and they gave us permission to read that book online today. And it is the next chapter to Don't, You Don't Want a Unicorn, and it's called You Don't Want a Dragon. And it's by Amy Dykeman, and the illustrator is Liz Klima. <laughs> Look at the boy in this book. I love it. I'm not sure if he's having fun up there or not. The dragon looks like he's having fun. Let's see what happens. I love the end pages in that. Hmm, I wonder what this is. I wonder. Do you know what it is? Let's see. Let's read the book and find out. You don't want a dragon. You remember we left our little friend when he had to return all his unicorns using the magic, and here he is. And his shirt says, I love unicorns. And it's crossed out and says, I love dragons. And look at everyone's so like, oh, this kid too. Look at, like, look at that fabulous dragon. Now you've done it. I told you not to wish for a dragon. Did you already forget what happened when you wished for a unicorn? Well, we know what happened. That happened last week. <laughs> look at him looking at him here. He just loves his little boy. The destruction, the multiplication, the cupcakes. Well, a dragon is worse, much worse, trust me. Remember in the last book, all those unicorn friends that came and they just, they ruined the house and they left cupcakes because they couldn't be house trained. Just like an unicorn, having a dragon seems fun at first. All right, super fun. That looks fun, doesn't it? Look, he's scaring off the bear. Boop. And the bear is saying, Grr. Fine, it's awesome, too. Okay. <sighs> but once again, it's not worth it. What do you know, what you don't know about dragons? Hmm, what could it be that we don't know about dragons? That looks super fun, doesn't it? It looks awesome. Chase. And drool, and what the stories never mention is, oh, look at all that drool, yikes, and he's chasing this guy. Yikes, he's chasing this girl. My dog does that, that's not too bad, is it? Where charcoal comes from. Hmm, where does charcoal come from? Don't mention this at your next barbecue, trust me. Look, he's got the toilet paper. Eek, I wonder where charcoal comes from. Not to mention the wagging, whack, ah, and the digging and the scooting. <laughs> my kid, my dog does all of those things, just not that extreme, huh? Look at the scooting, yikes! That's a big mess. I know you're doing your best, but I haven't even gotten to the most ginormous problem with having a dragon. got a fire extinguisher. <laughs> hmm, what could be the most ginormous problem? Is it anything like the unicorn's ginormous problem? Dragons get boink, boink. Ginormous! I told you, why didn't you trust me? Whoa, he's covering the whole page. You just, you just don't know, you don't just don't have the space for a dragon. In your heart, yes, but not in your house, no. You need to wish this one back too. It's for the best. Oh no, look at, he's like poking out. He's poking out of the house. He looks like Clifford the Big Red Dog. But I bet the pet for you is right around the corner. Look at, he's throwing it in there. Boop, poof, mm, bye dragon. Adoption day. You'll know. Um, just take a look when you find the, take a look when you've found each other. You'll know 
it's a perfect Got everything you need. Habitat, supplies, care sheet, good. Your new pail can get started while you tidy up. Wait, did you put the lid on that, right? You don't want your little buddy getting lost or injured or eating something they shouldn't. No, not that. Don't eat it. Hamster, trust. Poof. Oops, too late. Poof, 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 poof. What? It's a magic cupcake. Good luck, kid. <laughs> and here's the end paper. With dragons and unicorn hamsters. <laughs> Isn't that book silly? And here's the dragon. He's chasing the squirrel on the back page. <laughs> Isn't that a silly story? So today at 11, we have some uh, a kits out, craft kits out, showing our crafts. And this is what it is, like this. And you go. <sighs> so if you have you, if you used to have a minute, stop by and pick up the craft kit, and uh, please share your pictures on social media, or you can send them to me, so we can share them with everyone else. Have a great day. Enjoy your craft. Bye-bye.